Marine Cabrou, the French national champion. Really, Claudio? She has to just do what she can. She can only go as fast as she can go in this run and put as much pressure as she can on Tracy Hanna. Well, look where oh. she landed right there. was the perfect sweet spot. Now, that shows you where we're going to go. She is on an attack. She wants that win and nothing else but that win. Second jump road gap. No problem for her. Hits it at full speed. The winner of the last two World Cups coming into this one. At the World Championships a week ago. Is she going to go for that jump as well? Sends the big yes, gap. Yes, she is. Wow. And lands it perfectly. Really difficult jump to judge. Tempting to go too fast on. If you land deep, though, you'll be in the trees. Nicole with a 37.3 through the wild key section. And now into the technical stuff. Let's see what she can do here. Probably not carried as much speed through, through that one there. Oh, the bike working wow. hard down there. Cabrou. Oh, yes, that was good. Not off the podium at any race this year. Can you believe? Before those two wins, she was second in Andorra and second in Leger. She's literally just got better and better as this season's gone on. Still only 22 years old. And Cabrou losing less than a second through there to Miriam Nicole. She is losing time over. She's yeah, green. as you see, it is still green, but she was in a much bigger lead further up. That's so right. currently she is losing a bit of time. She cannot make a mistake here. If she can win, it's going to mean that Tra if she can come down and take the lead, I should say, it's going to mean that uh, uh, Tracy Hanna will need a top six. I think she's not carrying as much speed as Miriam before. She's going slightly slower here, I think. Losing even more, I think. Yep. Ooh, this is going to be tight. Sprinting hard then. Big pedal in the middle here. And she now goes back out of the green into the red. Nearly 0.2 back for Marine Cabrou. So it's now all about sprinting power. 0 0.2 if she wants oh, to take... Oh, doubling, oh. doubling through these big whoops. The no, first woman that we was. see do that today. And that was the 0 0.2. I would say that's where she caught them back because no, no other women have taken that jump before. Being incredibly aggressive then. Cabrou comes down to the line. Is it going to be green? Yes, she goes faster by nearly two seconds two at seconds. the bottom. Well, that's how much time you can pull if you send those jumps. And now it comes down to this man. Second time he's been the fastest qualifier this year. Didn't make it stick in Lenza Heider, but Danny Hart. I shared a chair with him earlier in the week, and he's just annoyed that he cannot find that little bit he needs to take a win. Can he do it today? Can he end Bruni's dream of his first overall World Cup win? Fast at the top, tucking. Oh, Hart's going to lay it all out there on this one. Well, none of the runs we've seen was oh. perfect. A lot of them had mistakes, so he is allowed to do mistakes, Danny Hart is. Bruni not taking his goggles off. Oh, within a second then, which is enough to stop Bruni taking it. Two times a world champion, this man. The winner of three World Cups in his career. Oh! And if Danny Hart puts himself in between the two, oh, then that would mean that Amory takes the win. Super fast down there as well. No mistakes from Hart so far. But this is perhaps where it gets more and more crucial. Loses 0.3 only. Nearly 0.4 through that wild key section. Zero point within nine. a second, he is within a second. And Bruni must be feeling the pressure at the bottom because if he stays on this pace, the World Cup overall title is going to go back to Amory Piron. Oh, Hart looking fast here. The UK national champion. Critical piece of track. Clean through there. <laughs> he and can't think, look at it. He cannot look at it. And I think Bruni knows what's about to happen. So... Oh, he what? goes fastest! What? Where that, has Danny Hart found nearly two seconds? And that would again mean that Lloyd Bruni takes the overall. It's 54 kilometers and out through the speed trap then. Is Danny Hart going to take his first World Cup win of 2019? Coming down to the line. It he 
looks like it. it. Look at the time. 0.7 of a second. No way. Danny Hart takes the win.